Hello, friends, and welcome to 3ABN Today, all the way live. Yes, we're glad that you've taken the time to join us on this Thursday night program that's going to be multidimensional. We have two guests in our studio tonight that may be part of your family, but for some of you, they may be strangers. Let me just preface it by saying the Aikens are in the camp tonight. And you'll find out how positive that can be in spite of what the Bible says. We have two people that we love dearly and they are very much a part of our 3ABN family. But we want to thank you for your prayers and support of this network as we continue going and growing, getting ready for the most glorious event, the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And thank you for all that you do. Even if you volunteer, thank you for coming to put some elbow grease into the work, knowing that one day we will all hear, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Before we introduce our guests or meet our guests tonight, Jean McDonald is going to be singing a wonderful song, Love Lifted Me. Love lifted me, love lifted me, love lifted me. I was sinking deep in sin, far from the peaceful shore, very deeply stained within seeking to rise no more but the master of the sea heard my despairing cry from the waters lifted me now say am i love lifted me love lifted me when nothing else could help love lifted Lifted me, love lifted me. When nothing else could help, love lifted me. Souls in danger, look above. Jesus completely saves. He will lift you by his love out of the angry waves. He's the master of the sea. Billows his will obey. He, your Savior, wants to be, be saved today. Love lifted me. Love lifted me. When nothing else could help, love lifted me. Love lifted me. Love Good help, love lifted me, love lifted me, love lifted me, love lifted me. Thank you so much, Gene, for that spirited version of Love Lifted Me, which is in fact the culmination of the gospel, the love of God. Appreciate that so much. But I mentioned we have the Aikens in the camp tonight, and we do. Curtis and Paula Aiken, good to have you here. Yeah, hey, good to be back. Our second home. Yes, yes, it is. Yes, second home. That's right. You are very much a part of the 3ABN family. Yes, we are. Oh, thank you very much. Welcome. And, and whenever you guys show up to cook, something happens. It's like everybody finds out, and they say, we're waiting for that food to be done. <laughs> and they're going to just descend on that kitchen. Everyone wants to run the camera. I got camera two. I got camera three. <laughs> Napkins around the necks. Fork in hand. That's right. <laughs> you know, whenever my wife and I know you guys are coming, we always say, hey, and, and I'm glad you call and say, hey, we're on our way. You're going to be in town? Yes. So praise the Lord. But yes. good to have you here. Right, good to now, be here. Now, unfortunately, there's somebody watching or listening to the program on radio but might say, I don't know who Curtis Aiken is. Tell us who you are and kind of give us some of your qualifying background. Yeah. Because so, we're going to talk about it quite a bit tonight. Okay, yeah. So the Aiken account, we're not, not relationship to uh, the one in the Bible. Okay. Because okay, we do pay our tithes. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, um, <laughs> that's E-A-K-I-N-S. That's right. spelling. Uh, I'm a medical herbalist and a naturopath. An active, me uh, active member of the American College of Lifestyle Medicine. Okay. So that's more or less a drug-less approach to healing. All right. We're not totally against drugs, but our approach is 
lifestyle medicine, all right? Wonderful. And we're also the health ministry's directors of the South Central Conference of Seven Day Adventists for about 14 years. Wow. Now, honey, I think it's something about you too. Because, oh, by the way, my initials after my name is N.D. Oh. Someone says, well, what is that? That should be easy. Yeah, North okay. Dakota. <laughs> okay, anyway. Naturopathic doctor. <laughs> You're right. Doctor of naturopathy. Yes. Wow, good to have you here. And you're a smiling bride. Yes. I've never seen the sun set on you. It's always shining on it's you. It's that husband you're married, isn't it, honey? Yes, absolutely. Oh, wow. Okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> so, so uh, I'm a medical herbalist. I'm a medical <laughs> No, I am not a medical herbalist. I'm a nutritionist That's and right. also a health educator. And with Curtis, we are co-directors for the South Central Conference. That's right. We love that whole area as well. And we just love not only talking about health, but then we actually go in the kitchen and show, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. So when we talk about a subject, a major subject, heart disease, diabetes, cancer. People are always saying, so what do I do now? What do mm -hmm. I do? So then we actually have the cooking portion to show people that plant-based is the way to go. That's right, which is the second half of this program. Yes. That's true. Yes. We're going to go from yes. the boardroom to the kitchen. Uh -huh. All right. That's going to be really, go. really good. Hey, I know and, my bread and water is sure. That's right. I'm that's staying right. with her. That's right. <laughs> yes. And you guys are fun in the kitchen. You don't just cook. I mean, you make it interesting and engaging. Yes. And uh, sometimes it's a little bit hilarious because you cannot be married to Curtis and not have a fun time in the kitchen. You, I tell you, John, you have no idea. I do not know what Curtis is going to say. And the thing about it, I don't know what I'm going to say. He does not know. I really don't. Well, it's true. Laughter is medicine. Absolutely. Yes. And Absolutely. that's a part of the ND. That's right. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> but tell me about the Abundant Living Center. Talk yeah. about that. So we've been traveling for many years. Uh, we've been in this ministry, I guess. Well, we met based on like interest in health okay. for 31 years ago. We've been married for 29. So okay. this is what we do. Traveling all over the United States, Canada, Caribbean. So we thought that after a while, we need to have a place where people can come with, to where we are. Mm -hmm. Then with helpful living, lifestyle medicine, gardening, cooking instructions. So therefore, there's a facility in Huntsville that we're looking at right now. We don't have it yet, okay. but it's in the, at the horizon where we want to go ahead and secure that so people can come to where we are for cooking instruction, lifestyle medicine, hands-on. It's not a place where people get treated. It's a place where people get educated on lifestyle like medicine. I like people, people have said that. They've often called us and said, is there any kind of way I can come where you are? Hmm. And we know that, as Curtis has mentioned about the Abundant Living Center, it's going to be a place where they can come relax, enjoy good food, get good rest. It's not really a place where they come and stay over. They right. can stay over, but it's not a place for, like that. Yeah. Okay. But the bottom line is that you know, just to let them know that everything's going to be all right. Hmm. Path for you to walk in, be outside, put your hands in the dirt, mm -hmm. you know, pray and have a little Bible study going on. And then send them back off to go and tell others about the good news about Christ coming again. Well, I can't. So we teach them how to fish. Yes. We give them the fishing pole. Yes. The bait. Come, go home, and then they can go ahead and finish the educational process that they'll learn at the Abundant Living Center. But you're not going to be revealing all of your recipes. Well, we'll be cooking a lot of our recipes. They're actually going to do hands-on. Yeah, hands-on. Oh, okay. yes. Yeah. Where they will actually cook. I'm not going to just be the only one cooking. They will actually learn how to cook. They have their own cooking station. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I could say without a doubt, you guys have a healthy relationship. Yes. <laughs> okay. Very healthy. Would you say, honey? Very healthy. How is it working out for you for 29 years? Can you want to share with the audience? It's doing real good. Real good? Okay, yeah. it's doing real good with me too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got that out the way. <laughs> uh, yeah, AbundantLivingCenter.net is yes. the yes. website. They can go on there and learn more about that. Our focus is on cancer, but we will deal with also diabetes, cardiovascular disease, weight mm -hmm. loss, et cetera. But the focus is on cancer. Wow, and because you are a health ministry, and thank you for uh, sharing with us the qualifications, what would you like to focus on today? Let's lead our audience, because I think this foundation, I'm going to give you the opportunity to lay that, and then I'll be the audience Okay. In the context today. So today's program, the live program, is entitled Understanding Cholesterol. Okay. Now notice I didn't say how to lower high cholesterol. It's entitled Understanding Cholesterol. Okay. So with that in mind, uh, we're going to jump into this. I'm going to be looking at the clock. We've probably put as much as we can in this. There's two things I want to do, first of all, before we jump into this conversation. All right? Okay. First of all, I want to give a disclaimer, all right? The information presented in this presentation is not to prescribe, treat, or diagnose, but to educate only. We advise that you consult with your primary care physician before incorporating any alternative, complementary, or lifestyle medicine. That's okay. number one. 
The second thing is that when we talk about health, healthful living, et cetera, there's so much mixed information, erroneous ideas about healthful living okay. all over the place. So what we have done to reduce that risk of error, I go with what I call the three S's of credibility. Okay. Huh. The three S's of credibility. Now, I'm gonna put John on the spot. We didn't rehearse this. Okay. So, think about the three S's of credibility, all right? On down. anything, health for living, which we're talking about today, but anything, okay. So, what do you think is the highest form of credibility that starts with the letter S? Scriptures. That's okay. it. All right, you got it. Okay. Yeah, scripture. <laughs> Second, uh, what, Timothy 3.16? All scripture is given by inspiration of God. It's God's breath. So that's the highest source of information, scripture. Now, I'm a good student, what okay. do you think? You are. Yeah. You ever thought about being like a pastor or teacher? You're kind of good in that. Yes. You, yeah, well, you think about <laughs> Something that. Something I want to do before. Yeah, you know, <laughs> sit, put your resume out there. Okay. So that's the first S. The second S of credibility the false on this scripture, it starts with an S. What do you think that is? The second S of credibility. Right below scripture, the second S. Hmm. Come on, right? It's right below God's word scripture that's inspired. It starts with the letter it's S. prophecy. That's it. Now, okay. there, it's now, you, now there are three S's I can use. Okay. One spirit of prophecy, one is Sister White. The one I'm using is servant of the Lord. That's still the S. Okay. Because the author we're talking about is Alan G. White. Right. The most prolific author in the United States, according to the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C., wrote many volumes on health. So those in the Adventist community, when you say the servant of the Lord, we know that's the author, Ellen White, who wrote in the 1800s with a third grade education. Mm -hmm. And her writings now are now being validated now with scientific literature. So the servant of the Lord, Alan White, all right? Okay. Now, having said that, now, so hey, two you for two, two. all two. right? Now, the third S of credibility, we, we're talking about health, all right? Health. Scripture, servant of the Lord, what's the third S of credibility? When it comes to health, health for living research, the third S of credibility, okay, he's, He's, okay. thinking, he's, he's thinking. I may have happened my on this You're going to have to help me on this one. Okay. Scientific studies. Okay. Now, the reason why that's at the number three position, because all science studies are not inspired by God. Mm. Okay. They're conflicting. Mm -hmm. Well taken. Well taken. Based mm -hmm. on who sponsored the study, who funded the study. And so that's why many studies are conflicting. Uh, where some people, they get information from what someone said about a study on the evening news. Mm -hmm. Some people read the study themselves. I'll go beyond that. I simply study the study. I like that. Mm -hmm. In other words, how many people in the study? Is it 20 or to 200? Uh, who's involved in the study? Is it white postmenopausal women who live in Southern California? Or is it black premenopausal women who live in the Delta of Mississippi. Oh, I'm going to both extremes. I got now. you. Mm -hmm. So there's gonna be some, you know, <laughs> but different the audience conclusions. Of, yeah. Right. Yeah. Who sponsored it? Who funded the study? So that's why you have to be in a number third position. Studies, all right? That's very good. So those yeah. are three things that we're gonna be highlighting throughout our discussion on understanding cholesterol. When you go through those three essence of credibility, mm -hmm. it helps to weed out air. All right. Mm -hmm. So with okay. that in mind, let's jump into this uh, presentation now. I'm going to go through this and make some different points. Then I'm going to pause and any question you may have based on okay. what I just made, then you have an opportunity to ask questions. So you're going to be like the audience. All right. So talking about uh, cholesterol, understanding cholesterol. Mm -hmm. Number one, we must first understand that what is cholesterol? It is a waxy fat substance. Mm -hmm that is underscore essential, essential and needed for every cell in the body. Mm -hmm. It is essential for all living cells in the body. It is in the cell membrane to give each cell its integrity. It is in the mitochondria in the middle of the cell to stabilize the cell. Every cell in our body 
it is essential that it has cholesterol. Okay. Every cell in the body. So therefore, if the sunlight strikes the skin, the skin needs cholesterol in the cells so that vitamin D can be processed. Absorbed. Without mm -hmm. cholesterol, when the sunlight strikes the skin, we cannot convert that into vitamin D. So therefore, cholesterol is needed in the skin, in the cells mm -hmm. of the skin. Uh, the muscles, every muscle, the skeletal muscles, they need cholesterol to function properly. Wow. Even in the stem cells need cholesterol, the muscle, all right? Uh, let's start with the pancreas. Now, this may be a surprise. The pancreas, the beta cells that produce insulin, there is a close connection of cholesterol and the beta cells that produce insulin. So in order to produce insulin, the beta cells need cholesterol. Okay. Let's go to the brain. The brain comprised about 25% of cholesterol of the entire body. The brain. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about glucose. I'm talking about cholesterol. In okay. every cell membrane, in the mitochondria, the brain cells, the neuron, they need cholesterol to function to give our cognition. The brain. Okay. Uh, bile salts. In order to digest fats, protein, carbohydrates, cholesterol is converted into bile salts so that we can digest uh, fats, proteins, and carbohydrates. Mm. Our immune cells, T cells, manufacturing the thymus, B cells, manufacturing the bone, they too need cholesterol so that our immunity can fight off bacteria and diseases. Our immune cells, it's essential they need cholesterol. Okay. So mm. all these things in our bodies need cholesterol, even the animal kingdom needs cholesterol. Now, I'm oh. going to pause okay. any questions so far because I'll be doing this throughout this course All right. and just kind of give you a little pause uh, uh, based on what was just said just there that the body, it is essential mm. that every cell has and need cholesterol. Okay, so then in a nutshell, how is it produced? Okay, good question. All right, so therefore, since this is a fat, waxy substance, I'm going to go, first of all, let's go to S number one, Scripture. Let's go to the Word of God, all right? Let's put it on the screen here. This is Psalms 139. Here it is on the screen. I'll read it. Now, we always jump to verse 14. I'm going to jump to verse 13. First. Verse 13 gives the context to verse 14. Verse 13, for you, David's talking, for you form my, now underscore, inward parts. Okay. Now, King James used the word range, which means Hebrew is inner organs, inward parts. Mm -hmm. Then, verse 14, David says, I will praise you, mm -hmm. for I am, now here are the adjectives, fearfully, like in awe. Another one, wonderfully made, and a third one, marvelous, all your works, I know that full well. So when David's talking about the body, he's referring to in the context of that verse, verse 13, talking about the inward parts, internal organs. Mm -hmm. Then verse 14, I will praise you. Mm -hmm. So right. verse 14 mm -hmm. context is in verse 13 about right. the inward part. Now go back to your question. So if the body needs Cholesterol, it is essential for brain health, mm -hmm. insulin, immunity, vitamin D, even sex hormones. Mm. If we did not have cholesterol, I would not have any desire for my woman. Wow. Ooh, mercy. Because and God it produced all that. All that. Because it produced estradiol, hmm. progesterone, testosterone, cortisol, uh, thyroid stimulating hormone. So without cholesterol, there would be no desire for my mate that we, and we have papers, you know, it's, it's legal for, it. for my wife right here. I'll just, uh, children may be, so I'm going to stop right there because children yes. may be watching. Right? Yes, so, so therefore we need that. So because cholesterol is a waxy fat like substance, you need to go throughout the whole bloodstream to get through these places for function, then God in his infinite wisdom hand p 
picked the largest gland in the body, the liver, to produce it. Okay, all right. Over 1,000 milligrams a day hmm. to fulfill all those things all we just functions. mentioned. All the functions. So with that in mind, we have, now let me say this. This is a topic that I have about close to 60 minutes to diffuse the cholesterol hypothesis that's been promoted for 60 years. Like the myths. Yeah. I use the word cholesterol hypothesis. The word hypothesis simply means a proposed explanation made based on limited evidence. Okay. So mm -hmm. even today, six years later, this is still known as the cholesterol hypothesis. Mm -hmm. All right? Okay. You know, lack of evidence. But anyway, so to do that, you know, when Jesus was here on earth, you know this, that uh, to really explain a spiritual truth, Jesus used a lot of objects mm -hmm. to portray a spiritual lesson. True. As a matter of fact, I think there's a book, uh, I think there's a book that comes to mind. Uh, the objects that Jesus used to portray a lesson. Is there a book? Uh, Christ Object Lessons. See, th this guy, okay, you, you need to be a pastor. You. I mean, that, your answer's just right <laughs> on mark. I mean, you're just really blowing me away. No. So Christ Object Lessons is known by the initials C-O-L. Right. Since my first name began oh, with wow. a C, Curtis Object Lessons. All right. Oh, okay. So therefore, I want to make sure that uh, uh, now this we're gonna stay on this for a while to get a close up on this. So therefore, now since God designed the liver to produce over a thousand milligrams of cholesterol a day for brain health, sex hormone, vitamin D, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and since cholesterol is a waxy, fat-like substance has to go through the bloodstream, and the bloodstream is 90% water, since fat and water can't mix, God designed in his infinite wisdom, not only for the liver to produce the thousand milligrams of cholesterol, God designed the liver to also manufacture the ship, mm. hmm. known as L-D-L. In other words, now this is going to be a moment. All right. LDL stands for low density lipoprotein. It's okay. a protein. LDL is not cholesterol. It's a protein. I'm going to say this again. This, this is going to be a moment. LDL is not cholesterol. Okay. okay. It's the ship. Cholesterol is the cargo inside oh. the ship. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. thus the mm -hmm. example. Right, mm -hmm. so therefore, mm -hmm. for cholesterol to go through the bloodstream to all these body parts, it needs, it a, needs a ship to get to those places. Hence, mm -hmm. that's why God designed not only the liver to produce cholesterol, also to manufacture the ship. The I LDL see. ship. I see. I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. To so therefore, it. when people say, mm -hmm. "Oh, well, I, I have uh, my what's your LDL cholesterol?" There's no such thing. Right. There's a ship, LDL. Right. There's a cholesterol, but they're not the same. Yeah. So yeah. one. Okay. So therefore, now, let's go ahead and go through the body. So this ship is traveling through the bloodstream. All right. So first stop, pancreas. So therefore. The ship unloads and give the pancreas its needed cholesterol, so therefore the pancreas can go ahead and uh, take care of the insulin that the body needs. All right. Okay. So that, okay. That, so next stop, muscle. So therefore the ship travels to the muscles, get the cholesterol to the muscles that they need, so they can function properly. Next stop, brain. So the ship travels. Get cholesterol to the brain because the brain needs cholesterol to function for thinking, for cognition. Next stop, sex hormone. Next stop, et cetera, et cetera. All right? So, therefore, this ship is critical to carry this cholesterol that the liver produced. 
Okay. Without the ship, this cholesterol cannot get to these places to do their job effectively. Mm -hmm. Learn it. Now, mm -hmm. guess what? This process I have just demonstrated is amazing. For the last 30 years, this cholesterol is considered bad. That's right, LDL. They so always say the LDLs are bad and the HDLs are good. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. And so, therefore, I have 30 minutes to undo that cholesterol Hypoth hypothesis. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which is based on a lack of evidence. That's what the word hypothesis means. So, therefore, with that in mind, so, so anyway, it does those things. Now, guess what? After a full day's work, mm -hmm. it's time for the cholesterol to go back. And so, therefore, we turn the ship around okay. and we load it back up. HDL, all right, full day's work. Time to load up. Going back, back to the liver. Go back to the shop. Full day's work. Done your job. Full day's work. Goes back to the liver. HDL. That's why when David says, I am fearfully mm -hmm. and wonderfully made, mm -hmm. we have to include the verse before referring to the In internal part? organs, internal parts, primarily the liver for today's topic. So therefore, once we understand how the liver works, what it's designed to do, and cholesterol, because cholesterol has been so mm -hmm. demonized mm -hmm. for nearly 60 years. I have 60 minutes to diffuse the cholesterol hypothesis. Okay, so I've got to throw a question in here because... Okay, I'm going to stop. Okay. Because I've heard people say, well, I want a cholesterol-free meal. I want a cholesterol-free diet. This is such a thing. Okay, now, it is such a thing because, um, well, let, let me just... Am I going to... No, no, you, you're not. No, that's good. So, let me, um, in a sound booth, let me go ahead and let's pull up the uh, diet for mankind, Genesis uh, chapter 129. Let, let's put a, since you mentioned, I'm gonna jump the gun because you brought it up. So okay. let's put it up. I'm gonna read this and uh, I'll let my wife uh, expound on this. Here we go. First diet for mankind, all right? I give you every seed bearing, now underscore the word plant. Right. Okay. And every tree that has fruit in its seed, all right? So fruit is the first food group mentioned in the word of God. After sin, Verse 18, Genesis 3, 18, they will be yours for food and you will eat the, underscore the word, plants, plants of the field. Hmm. So before sin and after sin, but before the flood is a plant-based diet. Okay. So therefore, plants do not contain any cholesterol <laughs> at all. So therefore, it is not designed by God for us to eat cholesterol. Only way to eat cholesterol, you have to eat an animal. Because animals also make their own cholesterol. Okay. But the liver says, oh, wait a minute. I don't need any help from nobody else. I got this. The liver says, okay. I am designed by God to produce all the cholesterol that we need. You don't need to eat any extra through your diet. I got this. That's why... As number one, the scriptures, God's plant-based diet is free from cholesterol, all right? Right. Oh, okay, right. so right. therefore, with that in mind, honey, and something about, uh, Ellen White talks about that uh, diet for mankind, well, you know, what she the, says about it. In the book, um, Council on Health, she says, uh, in the body, fruits, vegetables, grains, and cereal are all the foods that need to be eaten. Yeah, so Council of Diets and Foods, page 81. Repeat that with a little bit more volume because I, I, I need okay. to, I yeah. need to. In the yeah. fruit. So Councils on Diets and Foods, yes. page 81 is what she's stating. Okay. Paraphrase, Council on Diets and Foods, page 81. Yes, go ahead. She honey. says, in the fruits and vegetables and the grains and cereal kingdom are all the nutrients the body needs to have. Thus, Daniel's request. Daniel's request. Right. So therefore, and think about it. Yeah. With that... <laughs> Diet, yes. people lived in the 900s with that wow. diet. Hmm. Life expectancy took a nosedive mm. after the flood when man was allowed to eat Flat. animal food. Then life expectancy took a nosedive after the flood 
But before, before that, it was a plant-based diet and lived at median 900. So now, okay, so therefore, so let's go back to our uh, illustration here. So Can I say something real quick? Okay, go right ahead. That's deep. I know it is. That is very insightful because a lot of people say, but we need to have A, B, and C in our diet. We need the energy. But something I want to get back to you that you just said a moment ago is the liver is saying, I don't need your help. I got this. God has designed me to produce the cholesterol that I need. All to that furnish, need. To furnish the body with all its components. So when we get these fatty, fatty foods, let's just, let's, okay, okay. Uh, when you stop at the donut shop and get a 12 donuts and all this stuff, okay, Curtis is coming after me today. <laughs> I'm getting happy here. When we start saying to the body or the liver, you need my help, mm -hmm. something happens. That's it. Okay, I think yeah. you're going so, there. So God has programmed that. So on God's original plant-based diet, our arteries will look like this. Mm. See, this is a plant-based right here, mm -hmm. all right? So we're going to get to what happens when we get to this point. Oh, Th this is coming. Cool. This is coming. So now let's go back to our illustration. So... Our uh, illustration is, here it is, because this is the cholesterol hypothesis, and again, the word hypothesis means that it is proposed explanation made that has limited evidence. That's what the word hypothesis means. Right. You know, this study done, uh, Ansel Keys back in 1958, the seven country study, all right, Ansel Keys, all right? Mm -hmm. A wonderful guy, uh, he lived to be over 100, uh, as a matter of fact, um, you heard of K-rations, the military K-rations? Yeah, exactly. Okay, well, the word, the letter K stands for keys, Ansel Keys, K-rations. Oh, okay. You know, lived me over 100. Anyway, he did a study, the seven country studies back in 1958, as uh, far as what determines heart disease, what determines this right here. And his conclusion was probably cholesterol. But it was a hypothesis. Okay. It wasn't really clear back in 1958, uh, there were some limitations back then. Okay. The study was never really seriously challenged mm. because until of the, the last 20 or so years, all right? So therefore, that hypothesis keep on going. So therefore, now let, let's go back again. Let's go back. So we have the LDL ship, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right, traveling through the bloodstream. And the first stop is, all right, Pancreas, first stop, all right, unload, and put that cholesterol there. Okay, the pancreas said to the LDL ship, okay, what, what is this? Okay, what, I put my purchase order in for X amount of cholesterol. I can't work with this. What, what, what's up with this? That's not enough. Yeah, and the LDL captain of the ship says, I'm not to blame. I'm just part of the transportation system. You take your complaint up with the liver, the manufacturer. Oh, so okay. the pickers go to the liver and say, uh, liver, what, 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 what's, what's up with this? Come on, I can't work with this. I mean, it's like trying to make bricks with no straw. I need more cholesterol to produce insulin. And the liver says, look, I, I, I understand what you're saying, but the person, the body that we're living in, they still believe on this cholesterol hypothesis. Mm -hmm. and, and they were convinced that the cholesterol that the LD ship, LDL ship carries is bad, and someone told them that they need to lower their LDL cholesterol, and so therefore, the body that we're living in Guess what? That's all you're going to get. I can't produce enough cholesterol that I need because the person that we're living in is taking a statin drug. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh. And the paper okay. says, oh, my goodness. Oh, the statin drug. So the liver says, look, I can't produce what I need to because of the statin drug. So production is low. Mm. And therefore, with that, there's going to be a shortage of cholesterol throughout the body and because I'm not well. producing what I need to because the drug is preventing me from producing oh. the adequate amount of cholesterol. Yeah. So this is what you got. Work with what you got. Mercy. 
And so, therefore, the functions are now becoming impaired. Right, right, now, right, right, right. And because of that, there's an increased risk of diabetes for those who take statin drugs. Now we understand and start to connect the dots. Mm -hmm. So it's so much so that the drug and food, food and Drug Administration put the most severe warning on the drug, the black box warning on the drug, statin, that it will increase your risk of diabetes. That's mm -hmm. on the drug. And that they still put, prescribe it. They put on that drug back in 2012, over 10 years ago. And they still prescribe it. Yeah. So, okay, so Pinker said, well, okay, look, I'll, I, I work with that, but, you know, I, I do what I can. I can't, I can't promise anything, but I, I just got one. I, I'll work with it. So, okay, the ship goes down to, uh, to the brain. Okay, next stop, brain. Okay, there's yours. Okay, the brain says, What's uh, that? E excuse me? <laughs> what is this? Come on, man. What? I put my purchase order in for cholesterol X amount. I, I made it in by 12 o'clock midnight. Yeah, I got it. But the LDL captain of the ship says, don't blame me. I'm just the captain, head of transportation. You take your complaint up with the liver, the manufacturer. So the scenario goes back again, and the brain cell says, liver, what's going on? And the liver says, look, man, the, the person in this body, they still believe that the cholesterol in the LDL ship is bad, and someone told them they need to lower it. So I can't produce but so much because my hands are tied because this drug is going into my body, so I can't produce what God wants me to produce. So this is all that you have. Work with it. And the function of the brain is impaired. Therefore, so much so, the non Food and Drug Administration put a black box warning hmm. on the drug for memory loss, mental fog, confusion, amnesia, and dizziness because a lack of cholesterol for the brain that's needed is insufficient. That's why sometimes seniors are now falling more because the dizziness. But the brain says, okay, like, I'm trying to make bricks with a small, small, a straw, but I'll do what I can. So there you go with that. And we can go through with the muscle. Next stop, muscle, there's yours. And the muscle says, wait, ho, 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 wait a minute, before you pull off, uh, Could you give me some more? <laughs> exactly. And the same scenario, the same time, the same scenario. And so therefore, with that in mind, since the muscle is not getting their adequate amount of cholesterol, Therefore, people are now experiencing muscle aches, muscle pain in the shoulder, arm, hip, because the muscle is not getting the adequate amount of cholesterol that need. Remember now, every cell in the body needs cholesterol. It is essential. Mm -hmm. it's, it's in the cell membrane for integrity. Mm -hmm. It's in the mitochondria, the DNA. So if the muscle is not getting their That's cholesterol, right then the muscles are going to be impaired. Mm -hmm. So therefore you have aches and pains, which is the number one reason people stop taking statin drugs. Mm, when the aches and pains start mm -hmm. showing. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So therefore, with that in mind, I want to go to, um, and uh, let's go to the next graphic, the medical ministry. Let's start putting some dots together. Let's go to the next uh, right, graphic, right. medical ministry. I'll read this, then this. we'll go from there. All right, here we go. Based on what I just said. When you, now here it is, underscore, when you understand, understand physiology, hmm. what we're just talking about, in its truest sense, your drug bills will be very much smaller, hmm. and finally, you will cease drugs at all once you understand physiology. If we understand this, that God designed the liver to produce over a thousand milligrams of cholesterol and realize that every body part needs that, once we understand that, then we understand well, why am I doing this? But if we, there's a lack of understanding, yeah, that's right. then uh, people didn't get the memo Ooh. and still want to embrace this cholesterol hypothesis, then what they do is try to reduce it. And some people said, well, you know, I, I don't want to do statin drugs. I, I, I'm not into drugs, causes pain, all that. So, I try to lower my cholesterol naturally. Mm -hmm. I use uh, niacin, 
uh, red yeast rice. I, I try to lower it naturally. Now think about this. Now Isaiah 118 says, come now, let, let us. us reason together. The word reason means let's, let's, let's talk about put that. up a chair. Let's, talk, let's think about this critically. All right. Why are you trying to lower something naturally mm. if God designed the liver to produce it right. naturally? Mm. I that's, want that to that's set a contradiction in, in terms. Right. Mm -hmm. Are we mm -hmm. working with the body or against it? All right. So I'm going to pause for any comment questions on that because I, I have another point from there. Uh, I'm telling you. So, so what we're seeing then is you have the drug attack on the function of the liver. And then people right. that don't use drugs say, well, I'm going to attack this naturally because I've been told I need to lower my LDL. That the body does it, produce naturally anyway. Right. Right. But, but the body needs this production. So, it it. so the body now is suffering from brain fog, aches and pains, lack of performance, all these Diabetes, things. Diabetes, muscle aches, et cetera, and, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. And, and God has already created the liver to produce that, but you're saying somehow I've been told I need to lower my LDLs. So I'm going to go ahead and use natural, natural product. I'm going to go the natural route. Yeah. To, to eclipse a natural function. There you go. Now he got it. He yeah, got yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. He got yeah. it. Uh, so therefore, so those, let me just say this, those who still want, you know, take, you know, satin drugs, um, I would ask those individuals who are listening to check your liver enzymes. Mm. Now to oh, do that on man. a test, you know, you have a blood uh, panel, a lipid profile, all right? And uh, one way to check- A your lipid liver profile. Okay. Liver profile. And so there's uh, two areas to check your liver enzymes, okay? On your blood uh, pro uh, profile, uh, the initials A, L, T. Okay. And the initials A, S, T. Now, they have to have this uh, lipid profile prior to taking a statin drug, and then after you take the statin drug to see if that, uh, those numbers in that A, L, T, A, S, T have changed. That's an indication that the liver enzymes have increased because they're going to impact the liver, all right? Uh, also check your creatinine, your muscle, all right? Okay. Creatinine. And so because also the number one reason why people go off the stand drug because it also impairs the muscle, the weakness, the pain, et cetera, all right? So creatinine, see if that number changed. That's kind of like the proof positive that it's affecting the body as far as that's concerned. Also, what's also damaging is that the stand drugs uh, decrease the coenzyme Q10. Now you may have heard oh, of that, yeah, CoQ10, coenzyme Co Q10, Co Q10, Co Q10 right. all right. Coenzyme Q10 is like the spark plug in every cell. They even muscle cells need coenzyme Q10. So when taking a statin, it will deplete coenzyme Q10. That's why some people even take that. But my question is, again, going back to the central question, why are we trying to lower something that the body produces naturally. Okay, so I'm gonna come at you now. So, let me just, okay. so let's put this question out there because there's some people listening and watching that said, well, when I went to my doctor recently, he says one of the reasons why I'm in this shape is because my LDLs are too high and my HDLs are too low. Mm -hmm. What's that terminology all about? Okay, so let me go looking at my time. Now, let's go now to uh, credibility number three, the, sec the third S of credibility. Okay. I want to just read uh, for a second time here. Um, this uh, cholesterol hypothesis has been unraveling for years. It's been weakening for years. Okay. It's been uh, questioning for years. I'm just going to read a few for the next few minutes. Uh, this is some of the top uh, clinical studies in the world talking about uh, the uh, cholesterol hypothesis, et cetera, and heart disease. This is one called uh, medical journal called Clinical Nutrition and Metabolic Care, 2012, March. The title of this article in this medical journal is simply Rethinking Cholesterol. We keep thinking dietary cholesterol. It says here, results. European countries, I'm reading verbatim, European countries, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, Korea, and India, among others, do not have upper limit of cholesterol intake in their dietary guidelines. Further, existing epidemiological uh, data have clearly demonstrated that dietary cholesterol 
is not related to increased risk of cardiovascular disease. Another one, American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, 2015. It says here that uh, dietary cholesterol was not significantly associated with any coronary artery disease. All right, another one. Expert Review of Clinical Pharmacology, August 31st, 2018. It says here about uh, statin treatment, in particular when used as primary prevention, is of doubtful benefit. For half a century, medical journals, a high level of total cholesterol and low density uh, has been considered a cause for major diseases, but again, that's now been questioned. All right? Mm. And uh, so now this right here, uh, this right here, this study is done, I want to read this, and this is kind of like um, the nail in the coffin. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm about to read for sake of time. To have a conclusion based on a study is good, but, you know, just just one study. To have a conclusion based on maybe 10 studies combined strengthens the conclusion. Mm -hmm. Right. But when you have what we call a meta-analysis. That means a host of clinical studies combined and gives you a conclusion. It adds more strength to that conclusion. And credibility, right. Mm -hmm. This is coming from the British Medical Journal, one of the top most prestigious medical journals in the world, all right? A peer review, which means that any study that goes into a peer review medical journal must first pass its editorial peers and be reviewed, all right? right? And so therefore, this is based on the conclusion of not just 10 studies, not just 20 studies, not just 30 studies. This is conclusion based on 49 studies combined mm. over a course of years. This was put out back in June 12th, 2016. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right? 68,000 people in 94, based on people who over the age of 60. Mm -hmm. This is the first study of its kind, all right? I'm gonna put on the screen the title of this article. I'm gonna put it in plain, simple language, then we're gonna go ahead and finish out. Let's go to the screen, British Medical Journal. Let's put this on the screen. Okay. Here's the title, right? Now this may be a little medical jargon, but I'll explain what I'm saying. Lack of association or inverse association between low density lipoprotein cholesterol and mortality in the elderly. Now, in plain, simple language, to look at the people who had, now here it is, now this is gonna be a moment, who had this so-called high LDL, the so-called bad, there was no association with increased risk of heart disease. Hmm. Those who had a high LDL, no association with heart disease. Hmm. But then it, this says also inverse. That means, now here, here's the kicker. Now hold on to your seat for this one. All right. About half of those studies, about 19 dis, de, uh, determined that those who had a high LDL actually had a benefit and died less than those who had a lower LDL. Hmm. They need to rewind the tape on that one. Make okay. sure, okay. yeah, let so me let me rephrase. say that again. Okay. So LDL, so the so-called bad, all right, there's no association with cardiovascular disease, all right? right? But those who had a high bad cholesterol, that so-called LDL, LDL, it was very high. Mm -hmm. The higher the LDL, the more beneficial and less risk of disease and cardiovascular disease and death when they had a high bad cholesterol. 19 of the 49 studies. In other words, that's what this says, inverse association. In other words, the higher the LDL, the better off they were. That flies in the face I'm of what mm -hmm. we have heard mm -hmm. for the last 30 years. The cholesterol hypothesis. Yes. yes, and that's why it's today, 60 years later, is still considered in the medical literature, cholesterol hypothesis. That destination has not changed in 60 years. Wow, so let me just put this in a the theological. <laughs> okay. I'm ready here, okay. Okay, he's ready. Okay. 
Okay. So when we look at the way the, bi the, bi the body has been designed to function. Yes. I'm going to pull out a few things it says. The liver is saying, I don't need your help. Please don't interrupt the way that God designed me to function. Mm -hmm. Yes. But what we put in our bodies, whether we attack the liver naturally or chemically mm -hmm. by drugs, mm -hmm. to impair any of its performance, or even it could be impaired based on bad lifestyle. Yes, yes. yes. So that's the other component yeah. that we right, can't right. cover. We in have this the program. fatty liver. That, right, yeah. right. The fatty, mm -hmm. all yeah. those, some people could just over, you know, just attack bad lifestyle, eating the wrong things. Right. And they could be inserting into the body chemicals based on chemically treated food. Right. Unnatural things that yes. come off the shelf rather than out of the garden. Right. I saw man's original plant-based diet. The further we get away from that, the worse we'll be. Well, the more, the more chemical introduction into the body impairs the natural function that God created. So what happens is you can be lowering these LDLs and the transportation, they'll show up with like five when they yeah. should be shown with like 500. Right. There you go. And the body says, uh, I can't work with this. You're going to pay for that. Yeah, Ooh. really, really. Body yeah. says, you're going to pay for that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So either you give me what I need to function naturally or I'm not going to function naturally. So when the aches and pains start showing up, he got you it. cannot he got it, remember look at that. Look at, look at, look got when it. you're looking at me and you don't know my name. Yes. Uh, right. Uh, Memory you loss. 15 times. Rainfall. Uh, hey, Paula, tell me your husband's name. Yes. Something's going on in the body. Yes. That's not causing the mind to function naturally. He got it. He got so, it. But let me go to another level, okay? We got five minutes on yes. this side, and then we're going to go to the kitchen. Right, okay. right. Because I'm reminding you, we're going to go to the kitchen in just a moment. Okay. <laughs> when you think about what's happening, here, I'm, I'm, I'm going to open a can on you now. Okay. Okay. What about processed foods mm. that are not naturally created, which sometimes is a part of the vegetarian community? Mm. Right. That's mm. introduced into the body that was created in a factory somewhere. Yeah. 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 So does that the, impact? Does that impact the way that the body naturally functions, or are it, some of those things? Yeah. Okay. Let, let me put it this way: the, the closer to nature as yeah. possible, the better off we'll be. That's okay. Oh, good. The right. further right. away, then the worse we'll be. So the process. Food. Let me just a few more things, uh, a few more points, and then we're gonna go ahead and wrap up. Okay. okay. So therefore, so with that in mind, because we understand cholesterol, we just have uh, blood lipid profile done. Two weeks okay. ago, okay. right? And uh, my wife didn't know I'm going to bring this up, so uh, look, look at her face. Right. So I'm, I'm going to read. I'm going to read my blood lipid profile. This I'm reading verbatim. Okay. All right. So, all right. So my total cholesterol all right. is 213. They say it need to be below 200. So I have a high total cholesterol. My LDL cholesterol that's supposed to be the Bad guys, the bad, they all right, bad. okay, uh, they need to be below 100. My LDL is 133. Hmm. Now, let me go to my wife. Keep that in mind. Her total cholesterol need to be below 200. Her total cholesterol is 243. Her total cholesterol, all right? Okay. And her LDL needs to be under 100, all right, suggested. Her LDL, the so-called bad, all right, is 165. Now, and that's that's the one they said supposed to be below 100. Right. Now, here's the moment when I got this report, I came home because we understand cholesterol. The first thing I said to my wife is, honey, guess what? We got a blood lipid profile back. It is excellent. <laughs> OK, <laughs> now, now, this is a moment because if you just tune in five minutes ago, you think, who are those crazy people on 3ABN? <laughs> but you missed the illustration. Very necessary. But now yeah, yeah, yeah. that we, under, we understand cholesterol, oh, no, wait a minute. We're in good shape because we understand Damn. cholesterol. The higher the LDL based on this meta-analysis of 49 clinical studies with two pages of references, this cholesterol hypothesis is slowly being dissolved. Mm. Mm. Okay, I like because that. now because of this, mm. then I'll take this back to a doctor. We meet our primary care physician in two weeks. What I'm going to do, I'll prepare to take this article to her to let her read it because this is her language. This is what she I understands. Like mm -hmm. So we're going to become equipped when we go back to our doctor and say, no, I'm not doing that because you're going to probably offer us a standard drug. I said, this is the reason why 
read it for yourself to educate our primary care physician. So you did what I call in theological language, systematic approach. Yes. Mm -hmm. Understanding mm -hmm. something is better than just embracing it. Yes. yes. A lot of people embrace theologies that are not connected to God. A lot of people embrace medical terminologies that are not connected to the way that God intended the body to function. Mm, that's right. And we're not saying that it's so, let me rephrase that, understanding it yes. is better than just embracing it. Yeah, that's the truth. Yeah. That's, the that's the, the statement I make is, because we do this uh, throughout the South, uh, uh, Healthy Heart Conference, mm -hmm. uh, Birmingham, Montgomery, Atlanta, et cetera, when we get to this part, I make a statement in the conferences uh, throughout the South, I say that it can be challenging to learn something new. It's more challenging okay. to unlearn, unlearn. something that yeah. we thought was true. Yeah. Oh, Curtis, you just messed up today. That's so true in every it aspect is. of life. It Some is. people go along with information that has never been challenged. Right. And this is, this is the yeah. darkness of the theology right. world. The, the, every aspect yeah. of society, yeah. if you just embrace something because- Just what, accept it and not challenge it. Yeah. When I say to people, don't think that because you're getting older, you're, you're supposed to stay uh, uninformed. The, the lie we tell ourselves is you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Yes. yes. And that's a lie we tell. That's a lie. I tell you, Curtis and Paula, we're going to go to the kitchen in just a moment here, yeah. but I want to wrap up. So I want my arteries to look like that. Yes. And so what you heard here today from Curtis Aiken, uh, doctor of naturopathic medicine, and his wife, which is MS? Mississippi. Masters. No, no. Master of Science. Master of Science. Master of Science. <laughs> and Nutrition. They have not only taken the time to understand how the body functions and understand the component between the difference between LDL and HDL, but they're going to take that to the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So you cannot go away for the second half of this program because it's going to, we're going to get off of this table and completely rechange things to now take what we've learned and turn it into a creative way that you can enjoy a diet. So don't go away. We'll be back for the second hour. Well, welcome back, and uh, three being live, and we had to have a quick change yes, because we, did. we didn't want to mess up our nice shirts with the logo and the long sleeve, and because yeah. we're in the kitchen, so we had a fast change, and so I let my wife change first, and then I'll match your colors, so we're both have the same colors because all the way, all the way, we're married. All the way live, all the way live, and holy matrimony. Yep. Good program with uh, John Lo McCain yes. in the first hour, and I know probably had a whole lot of questions on uh, cholesterol. Could have went for another 30 minutes, but uh, you know those kind of shows really demands like a two hour. The second hour is question and answer, but we have the cooking demonstration for the second hour. So, do you remember when we first came on 3ABN back in the day? Oh, um, we had the two hour live, mm -hmm. uh, and they said, uh, let them cook. No, let them talk for one hour only, and then let them go in that kitchen. Yes, and that's how yes. we, that's, that's how we started all the cooking with the live, because a lot of people don't do the live like that. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So uh, anyway, I know you have a lot of questions, but we'll put our uh, contact information uh, at the end of this program that you can contact us, our uh, uh, telephone number, our cell number, my cell, our email address as well. So anyway, before we do that, um, I just want to make one thing before we start going to the uh, cooking demonstration, honey. Uh, one test that we can use, many tests we can use as far as our cardiovascular health. Uh, one is look at uh, your uh, triglyceride on your lab report. Triglycerides, tri, three fats, three fatty acids and alcohol, tri triglyceride. That should be under 150, mm. all right, under mm. 150. That's the amount of fat in the blood, all right? Mine says 92, yours is 80, 84, so, but you wanna be under 150. Also, you can have a, a carotid uh, Doppler where uh, from jail there and uh, test your carotid artery. You got two arteries on both sides. Every time the heart beats, it beats by 20% of the blood goes to the brain. So if the carotid artery is built up with plaque, chances are the heart arteries also build up with plaque as well. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. That can be a simple test. Then the third test you can do is more conclusive is the coronary artery calcium. Coronary artery calcium, better known as CAC, the score, and a scan of the heart muscle of the coronary arteries themselves, all mm. right? Coronary artery calcium, CAC, and give you a number, and that number can be a low number, it'd be uh, good. A higher number would be more of a plaque buildup as well, all right? Um, it, that, 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 now, in order to be able to remember all that, you're going to have to go back and watch yeah. this program again. Yeah, just hit the tape. Hit the tape and rewind. Uh, and it's, it's, it's amazing. It's really good because it's just like you're talking about that, sometimes we go and have our, our test done, our blood test mm -hmm. done. They're not, all these things are not listed on that blood test. We call the full panel. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you have to request that particular testing. Yes, yeah. yes, absolutely, yes. Yeah. So that's but, good. But uh, triglycerides is going to be on there typically with the uh, full uh, CBC. Yes, that uh, will be there. Complete blood count. It will be yes, there. Okay. It will be there. So, uh, now, yes. Now, you know, a lot of times um, people are always talking about breakfast foods. Oh, There's yes. a lot of calls about people saying, I don't mm -hmm. know what to do for breakfast. Mm -hmm. This show is actually about breakfast foods. Oh, break okay. the fast. Break breakfast. the fast. Break the fast. And so with that in mind, we have some real good breakfast foods foods that we're going to be doing okay. today. And our very first one, our very first one is actually we're going to make some waffles. Ooh, yeah, all right. uh -huh. and these are old grain waffles. Let's look at the recipe. Okay, let's do it, honey. It calls for four cups of rolled oats, four cups of water, one half cup of soy milk, one fourth cup of honey, one teaspoon of sea salt, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, one half cup of walnuts chopped, optional. One half cup of sesame seeds and vegetable cooking spray. Now, this is a good recipe because you know normal, when they're talking about waffles, yes. it's usually white flour, yes. white sugar. Refined. All the stuff that, you know, but the waffles be good. Mm -hmm. But these waffles are good too. Mm. So. Good we're doing them with all good, good stuff. Uh huh. So we're going right. to open up here first because we're going to make our waffles from scratch. Oh, okay. All right. Got the waffle got iron as waffle well. Waffle iron ready and, to go. Uh, Four cups. These are old-fashioned oats. Okay, old-fashioned going in. Yeah. Okay. okay. And then we're going to put in the water. We have we have four cups of oats, and then we have four cups of water. Now, is that cold, the temperature of that? Just regular water, just regular room plain. Room temperature? Yeah, room temperature okay. water, not cold. Mm -hmm. don't, want to, don't want to give the uh, oats a chill. All right. You know. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to do a half a cup of soy milk. And if you don't want to do soy milk, you could do almond milk. If you don't want to do almond milk, you could do rice milk. If you don't want to do rice milk, almond milk. Oat milk is out on the market now. So your too. choice yeah, of whatever it is, we can make these waffles plant -based up. Just go milk. at it. Do you know what I'm saying? You know, sometimes people are like, well, I was going to do that, but I don't like it. But no. So you got the honey going in? Got the honey. Okay. Honey going in. You made these for me just a few days ago. I like this because it makes a lot of yes. waffles, too. Okay, and I'll talk about that in a hot second, too. All and right. then we're going to put in the vanilla extract. Okay. And All we're right. going to put in the salt. Now the waffle iron is already heated. It's already on. It's, it's on ready, blue, to, ready go. to go. We're going to put our top on. Now, let me do this first. Okay. And then I'm going to put in the, the walnuts. All right. All right. <laughs> now, in, in the, okay. Now, I'm going to throw in the walnuts. You can put walnuts in, you can put pecans in, oh, whatever okay. you want. This is where the fat's going to come in on the recipe itself also. But it's the healthy fats. It's the healthy fats. That we need. I'm going to pause it. Okay, on. Now, when you first make this up, Here, baby. when you first make it up, it's going to be real liquidy. But guess what? Because it's oats, as it sits, it's going to get real thick, just like regular waffle or pancake batter. All right? I'm going to pour it in here. See how it is right now? Mm-hmm. All righty. And normally what I do is I let them sit. I let this sit for a while because that's going to get real thick. And in oh. order for you to put it into the waffle iron, it has to be thick like a waffle batter. 
Or, okay. Well, it's going to be thicker than a pancake. So pancake this needs to runny. sit That's for gonna sit how long? Why don't we talk for a hot sack? Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, because once again, I've got sesame seeds. There's oh, two okay. things I like to do. Number one is if you notice in this recipe, I have not used oil. Mm -hmm. And that's because I'm not going to use that there. So where's the oil going to be coming from to help to make this waffle very, very tender? Mm -hmm. It's going to be the walnuts, or you can do pecans, or okay. I'm also using sesame <coughs> seeds because sesame seeds, we're now talking about giving good nutrition to the waffles themselves. Mm -hmm. Now, I know that they thought, if I make these waffles up, can I put that regular syrup on top of it? The answer is absolutely not. Yeah, because we're making that. healthy waffles. And we don't want an unhealthy want, topping. You don't want no topping. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm saying. That's so, what I'm saying. Uh, pure maple syrup or... No, no, no. You no. Sometimes we, you put we, a... We'll, we'll be making a sauce to go with it. I make all my this. sauces to go with that as yeah, well. Yeah, okay. So that's not a problem, okay? So this is getting thicker. See? Okay. It's getting thicker. So this need to sit for what, maybe a five? A few more minutes. A, a few, few more minutes, minutes. Okay. okay. Yeah. So sit. while we're doing that, uh, now I do want to mention, as we're waiting here, that, um, you know, we did the, and we mentioned uh, before with John in the first hour, the Healthy Heart Conference, we've traveled throughout the South, uh, what, Birmingham, uh, Montgomery, Huntsville, Nashville, Atlanta, the Healthy Heart Conference. It was uh, professionally videotaped in Huntsville, Alabama at the Marriott. Mm -hmm. And we do have a copy of that. I'll show this right here uh, at the uh, uh, Huntsville uh, Marriott, downtown Huntsville. And so this is the Healthy Heart Conference DVD. This is a two DVD. And we talked about that. There you go. We talked <laughs> about that uh, in the first hour. And so we talked about cholesterol. It's on here. How to lower high blood pressure without medication. Also to reverse heart disease. Mm -hmm. Atrial fib uh, tribulation, fibrillation or AFib as well and a woman in her heart. So again, uh, this is a special offer. On our website, go to website is uh, $48.95, but today, for those who call in, the first 20 people for call in, then there's just, uh, we've been on 3BN, for 26 years. Mm -hmm. So, as a special offer, just 26 bucks. That's it, special offer. For those who are watching this program now, as supply lasts. So again, you need to watch this program at the end. We'll give you your contact inform, uh, information that you need to uh, order this and give you my uh, direct uh, cell number for that. But again, uh, talk about cholesterol, blood pressure, AFib, and also woman in her heart. Now, I know you're thinking about the fact, and I, I like that the statement you're making, and that, that conference was really very important. Yes. A lot of people came and got a lot of information mm -hmm. about what was going on. We always say that when it comes to information, sometimes you just get it from another source. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes you get it from watching the news, sometimes from a magazine. But the bottom line is that you also sometimes need to do the research yourself and find out what's going on. You know yes, what I'm saying? Yes. Find out what's going on. Okay, so, so, uh, so, the, so we're, we're no, kind of talking and let this sit for a little the bit. The reason why, okay, somebody asked that question. Yes. Why not the, um, uh, when you're doing the oats, this is old-fashioned oats that we're actually using, and as it sits in that water, it gets thicker, all right? So let's just see what's going on. You see? Oh, see okay, it's a little thicker. It's getting thicker right, than it yes. was before, uh -huh. okay? And so... I am going to now start getting okay, and open together, it up, honey. to get together. The, the waffle arn is ready to go, as you can see. We're going to spray that waffle arn. Let me turn so they, I guess they can see a little bit. Yeah, okay, go right ahead. Okay, move it over here. Yes. Okay. You don't have too much of a long cord. Okay, I'm spray now, this is a brand new waffle arn, is that correct? Yes. Um, um, every now and then I go and buy myself an item yes. that I need to have. Any item you need in the kitchen, honey, you just ask me and you got it. Okay, dokie. So, <laughs> you can make these waffles with, with sesame seeds, uh -huh. or you don't have to use sesame seeds, but I like to put them on there as well. So, we're going to put on the sesame seeds. Now, what's the purpose of doing that just now? Just adding oh. extra fat and also decorations on a wall. Oh, okay, also, yes. And also very nutritious. Okay, yeah, okay? I can see that, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and now, usually what I do when I do the waffles, Let's move a little bit closer. Okay. That's still going to be a little bit softer. Yeah. But that's okay. Sit it in the center. Now, really, because I know we're on television, but that could have set for at least a maybe longer. a little bit longer. And that's going to be on their recipe when yeah, they do it. Yeah, so we just kind of hasten the recipe the due for the sake of time. For the sake of time. For the sake of time, okay. 
center, in the center first. Right in the center, all right, they can see that. Okay. Excellent, okay, superb. And those, those sections that are kind of blank, don't worry about it. We can just fill those in. Oh, okay. Now, you know, this is new. I had the waffle arms that only did two waffles, and then I said, it's time for what have you got company coming over? Yeah. How long are they going to have to wait before they get the waffles? So then we said, why don't we make up, get a larger waffle arm. Okay. Right? See, I'm just filling those spaces in. Filling the spaces in. But do not overfill, because it'll come out on the sides. Okay, good. So now we're going to go ahead and... Hold up. Oh. Get that last one in the corner. Oh, yeah, here. there it is, yeah. This, last this one, one here. Yeah, there we go. Good. Now, okay. something is interesting about this particular recipe. Just you can go sure ahead and take it. I can go ahead and close this. And close oh, it down. Close it down. Okay. Now. So. When, when, so that's, it's going to cook. It's going to cook, and when the blue light turns completely on and the yellow light goes off, that means it's ready. Oh, okay. okay. So there's right, right now. Right now it's on blue. It's actually cooking. So when this blue light goes See, this off. This one will go off, and that will stay blue. That means it's ready. Now, oh, the, okay. Now, because of the fact that these are are multi-grain or we're using oats with this, mm -hmm. they're going to be uh, take a little bit longer than they would a normal pancake batter or you'll see a, a, a waffle batter that's in the market. Remember, because there they have a lot of extra stuff in that recipe itself, but not in this particular mm -hmm. one. You also notice that I did not use baking powder. No baking powders in this recipe either. Now, what's so, the reason for that? No, I mean, it's because we're trying to make it whole, babe. We're okay, just trying to make right. it whole, so we don't need to. Well, I knew that. I just eggs. want them to. Yeah, because yes. eggs is, eggs is a part of the waffles, and so is also um, baking powder. Mm -hmm. We're not using either one of those okay. in this. Mm -hmm. This waffle is great, mm -hmm. and it has a real good flavor, mm -hmm. and you can smell the vanilla. I can smell the vanilla coming from it right now. So it's getting itself together. At the end of our program, you will see that because this batter, believe it or not, will make sixteen waffles. Mm. If you do the round ones, it will even get more. And so you say, well, what am I going to do with 16 waffles <laughs> when I get ready to have my, my meal? What we do is we make all our waffles up at one time. And once they're all done, we take out the amount we're going to have for, let's say, that breakfast or that brunch or whatever, and even the supper, if you want to go breakfast for your supper meal, we take that out, put it into Ziploc bags, and put it in the freezer. So guess what? When you're getting ready to go to work on a Monday morning or you got somewhere to go real quick, all you got to do is go in the freezer, take the waffle out, put it in your toaster, toast it, and you're ready to go, okay? So that's a real good thing that I really like that can, can go on with the waffle. Now, we're going to let that sit there for a hot sec. It's not ready. And so with that, we're going to look at our what's going to go with that. What's going to actually go with that is that we're going to go ahead on and we're going to do our next recipe, which is a blueberry sauce to go over our waffles. Let's look at the recipe. Okay. Two cups of blueberries, three-fourth cups of orange juice, two tablespoons of lemon juice, and one tablespoon of cornstarch. Okay. Now, yeah, right, the waffles are doing yes. that thing over yes. there. We've got some already going. I'll remove my watch, honey, because yeah. I didn't want to get messed up while that, cooking. So, that was yeah. a good idea. Yeah, just so. Okay, so now we so got So what I'm the, doing right here is I'm actually putting in first my orange juice. Okay. Now, it was So three, this is the topping for the waffles. That's right, the topping okay. for the waffles. Now, you have your little gadget, which you oh, love. Oh, yes, okay. And you're just going to like to do that. You're going to go ahead and put that in while I go ahead on and put in the blueberries. And these are fresh blueberries. You can do fresh or you can do... Frozen. All right. How much, uh, what, tablespoon? To squeeze it, much as, to squeeze it out. I already oh. have it. Sorry, it's, it's going to be one third cup. Oh, okay. Okay, and I'm going to turn this up. You got the waffle over here cooking, so you see the, the smoke coming cooking. up and it's still cooking. And there you go, where you All want right. this. I'm going to make the juice to go in this as well. If you think that your your mixture, once you make it up, you know, orange juice is going to, this is a, um, un, a regular um, unsweetened, so natural, regular orange juice, regular squeezed orange juice, all right, uh, not a concentrate. And so that's going to also bring some sweetness to it as well as the blueberries mm -hmm. themselves. Let's say it's kind of out of season and the blueberries are not acting like they need to act or you don't have them frozen or whatever, then you can add a little maple syrup to that or some Florida crystals to that if you want a little bit more sweetener. But because we're doing a, 
a, a, a, a, a, a waffle that's really yeah. good for us. Okay. We don't want to bury it in a lot of sugary stuff because, you know, we try to stay Makes away sense. from all that sugar right. here on 3AB and, Keep okay. Keep those plaque, those Keep, arteries you know what I'm saying? in the heart clean and clear. Keep them clean. Keep them clean. Yes. All right. So this is going to, this is what I'm doing now is I'm actually just stirring this up. And now, Curtis, you have um, the rest of the this, orange, orange juice, juice, one fourth of a cup, and that's your one tablespoon of cornstarch. That's what's going to make this thick, thicker. So I'm put this in the mm -hmm. orange juice and just stir it. That's that's yeah. Go ahead. Okay. And okay. then just stir it. Just, just. So this would act as a thickener. Mm -hmm. or? That's going to make it thick. Give me all of it. Okay. I need to give me something. You go. And usually right. I bring this to a boil first. That's coming to a boil in the hot sec there. Now you can also use strawberries. We've done this sauce with the strawberries and peaches. You can do it with pineapples. Whatever you want to do, just make sure it is fresh fruit or frozen fruit. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. Now what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you now, slowly. Slowly mm -hmm. going into the pot here. Yes. All right. Get all the goodies. Oops, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. So now this will cook for? This will cook until it actually starts to thicken. And once it gets hot enough, it's going to actually thicken up on us, and you're going to see it. And once it does that, the actual cornstarch is what's going to make this turn into a sauce. OK, you see it's rolling it now. So this is going over the waffles, and this is going now over the tell waffles. them now they can cook these waffles a whole lot. Uh, and can you freeze these? I mean, cook a, a good oh, batch yeah. of them, and then freeze them. Yeah, I, I, I said that. Oh, right. always, I, I'm All just right. not paying attention. What you saying? <laughs> is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I said I said they could. Yeah. Once oh. you make them all up, and you know, and then you're going to freeze whatever you're not going to be using. Okay. Take them down when you need to. Throw them into a toaster. Okay. And then you can got your bring it back to life. Just like these frozen waffles you get in a store, okay? This is part of our uh, routine brunch. Yeah. Uh, every yeah. Sunday morning we have a brunch. Uh, I mean, it's vast of, dish of uh, dishes of potatoes and waffles. I think everything that we'll probably be fixing on this uh, recipe is what we normally do every Sunday morning for the last, oh, what, 15, about 15 years. It's, it's, our, it's our time. That's it's our, our quiet time. time. That's it's our, our quiet, time quiet time. With yes. everything, everybody. Mm -hmm. And it's just, I only have to do two meals that day. I just do the meal yeah. for the brunch and then something lighter yeah. in the evening. In the evening, that's it, yeah. All right, you can see that it's actually getting thicker now. Yes, uh-huh. It's thickening up because of the corn starch. Mm hmm Okay, look at that. Look at those. Look yes. at those. Look at those. And then if you want to, you can mash a few of them down because the blueberries are plump. Yes. That also helps to make the gravy that you're going to actually be using, or the sauce. I said gravy, but really it's a sauce but it is delicious to go with those waffles, all right? Yeah, now, so we right, got, yeah, go right here. So now we got the waffles. Okay. We've already made the sauce mm. to go over top of the waffles. What's now, nice, I baby? think we need to have some kind of a sausage or something. You know, we oh, need to have a sausage. Oh, some kind of meat alternative? Yeah, that would be a good thing, you know. Okay, sounds good. Something uh, that has a meat. resemblance of meat. a sausage or... Yes, yes. Yes. Burger or something. So let's look then at the ingredients on okay, this Okay, while you one. do that, I'll go ahead and get the uh, tray ready for you, okay? Okay. All right, go right here, honey. All right, it calls for two cups of water, five tablespoons of light soy sauce, two tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of honey, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of sage ground, one half teaspoon of sea salt, two tablespoons of onion powder, one fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper, two cups of quick oats, and we're going to be adding to that our vegetable cooking spray. Okay, while you're reading that, honey, I'm getting the next tray here laid out for you. I love it. I love yes. it. Yes. And the blueberry sauce is on point, on point. The thing about the live, you got to keep on rolling this. No cuts here, so, so. we have our next thing, which is going to be that. Yep, got our pants going. And that's your oh, recipe yeah, right God, there. My dear. Okay, dokie. Okay. 
Now, this is another one that is a surprise because people are saying, oh, wait a minute, you mean I can make my own sausages from scratch? The answer is yes, you can. Oh, yes. yes. You can. All right, oh, and I love way, this oh, one. Now this, the waffles, is, is still... let's just see what's happening to them so far. They are looking oh, real goodness. good. Let's take okay. them back so they can let's, turn to the side. Let's side turn so that those. so the camera can pick that up there. There you go. Okay, that's my hand right there, but that's the waffle, okay, the four All waffles. Right. Looking good, you, looking good. If you will, because it is finished, you can oh. really take that away if you would like. Just go ahead and take, take it off. Take the whole waffle off? Just, just take the whole machine off. Okay, yeah. I'll do that. Okay, I just want them to see it first. Really, I want them to see it as well. Okay, I'll take this off the set and I'll come right back, okay, honey? Okay. Okay. Let's just wipe that up. There's so much that you can actually do when you're talking about making waffles. You know, we've actually taken uh, mashed potatoes and got the oil and stuff in them, and we've put that in our waffle iron. It is so much you can do with the waffle iron, you know, so you need to maybe check one of those out. Something a little bit different. I like to change things up mm -hmm. so they're not always looking the exact same. Yes. This is another recipe that's really, really mm -hmm. easy to fix, and it's gonna, we're going to make our own sausages, all right? Mm, okay. So this recipe, let me just go ahead and turn it on now. Do we need a spray for on this? Yeah, one minute. Let me this okay. me, let me let me get up. There we go. All right. We're gonna go ahead and put in our water. Two cups. Okay. Now this recipe, as you're making it, is actually gonna be adding in. I've got a couple things going on here. It's gonna be things we're gonna to add to it because we wanna make this a nice, flavorful sausage. Mm -hmm. And would you believe that we're doing a sausage made with, this time, instant oats. Oh, instant, okay. this time. We did the old-fashioned oats mm -hmm. first. Okay. Now we're doing instant oats mm -hmm. as the second one. So we have a lot of ingredients here. Before we put these oats in, we're going to be adding the other stuff as well. All okay. right? So we're going to start off with, let's go ahead on and put in our soy sauce. Okay. Then we're going to put in the oil. Olive oil can be used. Okay. We get our flavor in there. And then Curtis, I'm just go ahead and get all that in there. Okay. And all that in there. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to have you start adding things there. And as you're adding, I'm going to go ahead on and start stirring. Okay. So we've already, this, this is going to come to a boil. Oh, okay. Now, we're not going to add that until we get to the boil this state. This is the last okay? yes. item. We're going to just stir it around. And now, I'm going to have you do different things. Okay. Let's go ahead and add the salt. Okay. Yeah. And this is optional if you're using the soy sauce light. You don't have to add that extra, but if you want a little bit more flavor, mm -hmm. pizzazz, then you want to go ahead and put that in also. We're now going to add the onion powder, and we're going to add that uh, onion powder. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Put that in. This has got a nice seasoning to it. Just go ahead mm -hmm. and put it in. Okay. And then we're going to add in our onion powder, garlic powder. Garlic powder. Garlic. Okay. okay. And then we're going to add in our Italian seasoning. Italian seasoning? Okay. Mm -hmm, this is going to mm -hmm. be a good flavor for yes, 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 sauce. Yes, yes. I can tell that right now. <laughs> then we're going to add in our honey. Okay. You Let me see here. That. Okay. It should come out because I did the oil with it. Oh, yeah, it came out pretty good. Yeah. Got the honey. Mm -hmm. All right. And then we're going to add in our sage. This is what really gives now, it that sage sausage really flavor. Gives it that, yeah, okay. sausage flavor. Yes, All right. Let me absolutely. stir it up a little bit there. Uh, Hold is on. that the cayenne? And you know the cayenne's going. Okay, cayenne is coming in. You know cayenne is coming in. Gives there. a little kick to it, baby. If you don't want anything hot, you, you don't, don't want to a add kick? the cayenne. Okay, but if it's okay, and it's only a fourth of a teaspoon. So yeah, it's not that much. Go ahead and put that cayenne in there. Okay. There okay. Now, at this point, I know you said. There ain't no way in the world she's gonna make waffles out of this, but I mean, sorry, sausages out of this, but yes, we are, we are, we are, we are. Okay, now once it comes to a boil, which we'll do in a hot sec, okay. then what we're gonna do is those oats, the instant oats, we're gonna start adding the instant oats in. Okay, so bring it over here a little bit closer, honey. Okay, Hold now. Hold up one minute and make sure this is good. Yeah, instant this, this oats is good. are going in now? Let's take your time. All right. Not all of them at one time. All right, go ahead. Okay, keep on. Mm -hmm. Okay, keep on. All right, okay, okay, all right, keep on, there you go, right. okay, so we got the oats in there. Now, when you're doing the oats, what you want to do is you want to make sure you keep stirring 
because we're trying to make this into a base that's going to be that of patties. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to bring this at a boil or? It did. It came to a boil. Oh, it did but come now, to a boil now, until you yeah. add the oats. But now I'm just careful to make sure, yeah, because we do not. We want the oats, once again, because the instant oats, mm -hmm. we know it's going to grab up the water right away. And, and it's going it to thicken. Yeah, yes. it's going to thicken. So it's already starting to do that. That's why you have to keep on stirring while you're doing it so it does not stick mm -hmm. and burn, okay? Okay. This gotcha. makes about 18 patties, depending mm -hmm. on what size you want. It also makes the larger ones. And so, I don't know if you remember one time on our program, uh, we actually used a scoop. And, um, okay. And uh, then a scoop. Honey, honey, oh, okay. No, no, no. Did, no did then a the scoop broke. No, no, no. That? I want to bring this back because uh, those who back? saw the show back that day, and they okay. laughed about it. Yeah. They laughed. So we got a better scoop. Because if you recall, I was making these coconut, <laughs> these coconut macaroon kind of cookies. They were real good. Uh -huh. And um, Chris was playing around with the scoop, and he wind up, it wind up breaking. Okay, I wind up breaking the scoop. Okay, that's what she's trying to say. I broke the scoop <laughs> on set, and the camera was still rolling. <laughs> I was so hurt for maybe three seconds. That's all. Yeah, maybe four seconds, but okay. I got over it. But Okay. Yeah. So... I'm going to okay, let this. Okay, up. Yeah, it you goes, can see that. It, it goes for about four minutes. You're going to keep on stirring it. But you know, because of time, once again, we're going to show you something different. I'm going to let that finish up. I'm going to turn it off. Off. Okay, and if you can see this, look at the difference of what it looks like. Yeah, okay. It's okay. thickening, yes. Okay. All right, now, but guess what? Over here, I've already... Let's, so you can see it. I've already want you to see what that looks like when it thickens up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and spray my pan. And, oh, and I'm going to spray my hands. Oh. Yeah, because I'm getting ready to do So you're going to make the balls all of your hands? You can two things we can do with the, it. Uh, I'm not sure because I made that cold so they can see it. Oh. But you're going to take your scoop and you're going to just scoop and you're gonna lay it down. Now, you made that ahead of time. I made it ahead of time, and yeah, because I knew. You I let mean, it sit for a little while. Because, yeah. So that you, needs to really sit for a little while. We don't really have enough time for that to really set. We'll, is what you're I, saying? I don't think, it, yeah. We're gonna, so we're okay. gonna do it from here. This is what it looks like once okay. it gets thick. And it, it needs to sit for at least, what, 30 minutes or, or yeah, what? Yeah, because it's gonna cool down. And already you can see it's, see, yeah. see what it's doing. It's already doing it. See what it's but doing? It's just not quite ready. No, not ready yet. So this is the. Something we did ahead of time for the sake of time. Just so they can see okay. what this looks like. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. My hands are slippery. Not slippery. Now, so, because mm -hmm. it's supposed to be like a little ball, you can just make a ball out of it. Okay. Lay it down. Make a ball. Mm-hmm. Lay it down. So you don't need to flatten it down a little bit or just... No, I'm going to do that. Oh, okay. All right. Lay it, flatten it down. Mm-hmm. All right, so now we're going to take our fork and we're just going to flatten it down. Oh, okay, you do it with the fork. Mm hmm. Now, this recipe will make how many? It depends on what, well, it depends what you on the use. size, I guess. That's just a melon scoop there. Yes. But if you want to be bigger, bigger burgers, then what you can do is you can actually just use. Uh, the ice cream tie scoop. Okay. okay. Let me just look and see if anything's happening in here, just in case. It's, nope. So it's still, still kind of. So remember salt. now, you want this to cool down. It needs to cool down, okay. and it will actually cool down. I always say, go away and do something else. It'll come back to this mm -hmm. state it's in right yeah. now, nice and thick, and then you can scoop it a lot easier. We're not going to get ourselves worked up. So we're going to let that cool down on its own, just so you can see okay, what that so looks they, like. At least they know what's, yeah, let's, what it looks let's like. Let's do it. Let's, oh, you do one you, more? Yeah, you want to do one? Yes, OK. OK. And oh, oh. Uh, now, so make sure the cameras are. OK, honey, make sure you scoop it into the thing, OK? Yes, dear. OK. okay. Make sure the camera is in focus. Where, where's my camera? Right here. OK. Make sure it's in focus. I may not be able to do this two times. There you go. See? All right. And. Uh, oh. They didn't see that. And then, uh, <laughs> use the fork to flatten. Uh, okay, baby, I, you're supposed to roll it first. 
Oh, okay. But um, just, 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 oh, oh, here, 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 here. Oh, I gotta do all this? Okay. Yeah, oh, that, that was, honey, that was my wrist. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. That's not, not so hard, baby. It's tender. It's just food. Don't, you know, don't wrestle with it. Okay, that's enough. Okay. And then lay it down. Okay. Then, now I do the now, fork. Yeah, yeah. Look at you. With my. Got your napkin. Hands. Get your greased hands. Yeah. Is the camera picking this up, honey? I, I see it right there. Oh, okay. They doing it. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. This is high tech. High there tech. There you go. All right, that's mine. Thank you very much. All right. So, uh, so you fill this pan up, and then now, how long will this be in the this oven? This goes in the oven at 350 degrees. It's 15 minutes on one side, and about 15 minutes on the other side to get it brown on both sides. At the end of the program, you'll get a chance to see the sausages. Yes, indeedy. Okay? So, we are going to look at our next recipe. So, you go ahead and do that, Don. We'll go ahead and uh, read the recipe, and then I'll Let's get read the it. Uh, ingredients out on the table, okay? Okay, don't. Go ahead and do that, honey. All right. Festive skillet potatoes. It calls for three tablespoons of canola oil, two medium potatoes sliced thin, two medium sweet potatoes sliced thin, one half medium onion chopped, one half cup green peppers diced, one half cup red peppers diced, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of sea salt, and one cup of fresh spinach chopped. This is a real festive I color the item out, right ready here. To go. One of our favorite ones there. We got the oil already going. Okay. Because Very festive. you are going to go ahead and get those potatoes okay, uh, for me, uh, together, honey. Put this kind because, of thin. Mm -hmm, because right. I'm going to already go ahead and get started putting in that because I want these potatoes. These are thin potatoes. And you know potatoes take a while yes. to get done. But not if you cut them real thin like this, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and put the first group in. Okay. Let's turn that down a little bit. And as soon as you get those ready, I'm going to okay, put them in. Okay, these bit. are ready for Yep, go ahead and put them in. Okay. All right. That's enough. Don't worry oh, about that. Okay. Go ahead. Slice it in half. Uh, okay. Just a little bit thicker. Okay. Then you can go ahead on and now, cut that up for me. Let's move this out the way. Okay. Uh huh. Sweet potatoes, white potatoes together in a dish. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes this serves as the foundation of our special Sunday morning brunch. Let's make sure that fire is still up there and you're still doing this thing. Okay, so I'm going to put the lid on. I'm going to put the lid on it because this is sweet potatoes and white potatoes, and it takes a little while for them to get done. But if you cut them thin, it won't take as long, all right? Go put the lid on top of them, because the other ingredients is, would you cut that pepper yep, for me also? Pepper. The other um, ingredients that's okay. gonna go into this is gonna be the red pepper, green pepper, and then also we got our onion. This is kinda like the seasoning that's actually gonna go on this recipe, all right? And so it's getting itself together. Hers has cut that all up for me. When we usually do this recipe, we let this get tender, then we add the other vegetables to it, and the last thing we do is we put in the chopped spinach for color, for nutrition. All this makes a wonderful meal. I know that people normally just like to do regular potatoes and don't even think about putting the sweet potatoes with them, but to do these combinations together, you wait till you see what this looks like at the end of our program. I'm now, let me ask a question. Do the white potatoes and sweet potatoes cook at the same rate? No. The okay. sweet potatoes are going to cook longer. Oh, longer That's than why the we're white cutting potatoes. short. Right. And this is not just a regular white potato. These are baked potatoes. Oh, baked. They take longer than the other 
soft potato, okay. green potatoes for making potato salad. Mm -hmm. So your potatoes have their different personalities as to how they cook and what they cook with. Okay. So the baking potato actually takes longer to cook than, uh, let's say, uh, a soft potato that you're going to make maybe potato salad or something with as oh, well. Oh, I see. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. So all we're doing is we're just coating, coating it with the oil. Now, you want to see the so pizzazz cook come in. Now, we got the... This uh, cooks until pepper? it's tender. Oh, okay, okay. so it, it takes a little while. Tender. Mm, well, well I, I would say about maybe 10 minutes or so, as mm. you're, and you're stirring them. You're stirring them, okay. okay? So let's start putting in this, the onions. The onions, okay. Uh -huh. This is where the flavor's coming in as well. Okay, yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy, uh-huh. Okay. All right, and so then the onions. The, and then we're gonna stir in the different the, uh, peppers. Red and green, and peppers, green peppers going in. Yes. And there's some more right there. Oh, okay, those right here. Very colorful dish here. And you through with the cooking, I mean the uh, chopping. I can take just this all off. all that. Okay. All right. See how nice and festive this looks? It's a nice color. Once again, the best way to find out whether they're done is you can just take a fork and stick it into the actual potato itself. But once you put that cover on it, it's gonna cause it to sweat. Now, we're gonna go ahead on in and sprinkle on the seasonings. We got the onion powder and the garlic powder. We're sprinkling okay. them in now. And why not onion salt and garlic salt? Oh, now is a good chance for you to answer that question while I'm doing this, Mr. Akins. You, so I asked you the show question for a while. and you want me to give uh -huh. the answer to my own question. That's is that right. what that's you're saying? That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so uh, onion salt is nothing more than salted onion. And garlic salt is nothing more than salted garlic. Because I've been living with you for 29 years. Yes. Is yes. that correct, honey? Yes, and you did a real good job on that. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you so very much. Seasoning it to flavor. Yes. You can see that the coloring is coming in really pretty oh, it's, here. Oh, yeah, it's cooking down now. All right, it's also cooking down. And then once I put the lid on, now, because of the fact that I want them to see the finished product, the fresh spinach is what I'm going to go ahead and put on also as well. It's going to wither. Uh, and because of the fact that the moisture is in the potatoes and stuff giving off, but you'll get a chance to see what the kind of coloring we're talking about when you put the spinach on top. Okay. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Now that's fresh, not frozen. Fresh spinach. Fresh spinach, okay. And it's gonna wilt down as it finishes cooking. So after that, you put the top on and I'll put the top on and, cook and let for it simmer. Just let it simmer until the potatoes become soft. Okay, right? so about what, 10 minutes or so? Yeah, that's good. Oh, okay, that's All it. All right. How about that? All right. Sounds that is good, simmer. baby. Stick your fork in. If it's actually tender, then it's ready for it to go, okay? Okay, good. But this is another real good dish. Good vitamins and minerals, an excellent dish. So I know you're saying, is she going to fix any kind of a dessert or something sweet? Well, we've already done that with that blueberry mm. sauce to go over those waffles, but you know, we, we got you, we got you. Oh. So yeah, we're going to go to our very next recipe. Well, while you're doing that, I'm going to get the next tree and go set get it that up, next okay? Tray. Let go me right go ahead, ahead and honey. The ingredients All right. then. Okay. All right. Dried cherries and maple scones. It calls for one cup of whole wheat flour, one cup of unbleached flour with the germ, one teaspoon of sea salt, one third cup of soy margarine, one half cup of cherries dried, chopped, one half cup of soy milk, three tablespoons of maple syrup, or one tablespoon of baking powder that's aluminum free. All right. This is another good one. Okay, there's your Scott recipe, potatoes honey. are doing real well over there. I can hear them, and I can smell how wonderful they smell, okay? We have a larger bowl that I can mix you all this together in. You have a large bowl? In. Let me get that you take for that away you, okay? just a few minutes ago? Right. I thought I had put it down there already, but I did not, okay? And so you can see that we have a combination of some real good combination of things that's gonna go into these scones. I don't know about you, but I love scones. Do you like scones? We've done them before on our show, different combination of scones, raisin scones, date scones. This one here is dried cherry scones. So I like to make different combinations of them as well. They're not, they're really, they're like in a biscuit family, but because of the fact we're adding more like sugar, maple syrup or Florida crystals to it, and those dried cherries, which are sweet, it makes it into, um, a dessert more than it does, let's say, a regular breakfast biscuit, okay?
All right. That big right. enough ball, right. baby? That sounds, that's good. That, that's Take good. a while to find that, but I found did it. You? I did found you? it. You did it. You did yes, it. Yes, I did. Okay, so I on this recipe. Help. Okay. Okay. We're going to add in so, the whole wheat flour. Okay, this is whole wheat. Mm-hmm. All right. And we're then going to add in the unbleached flour with the germ. Okay, unbleached. Mm -hmm. And these, you can both get Regular these grocery at the store. grocery store. Okay. And we're going to add in the salt. All right. And we're going to add in the baking powder, aluminum free. Aluminum free. And again, also at the regular grocery store. At the regular grocery store. Let's put this over here real quick there. And let's just wipe that down a little bit there. Okay. And, and I'm going to just stir this up a little bit. Okay. Stir it up. This is a real good recipe. Now, most of the time when you get scones, once again, scones are usually done with white flour. Oh, yes, okay? yes. So we're going to make some changes up because, once again, when we're changing up our lifestyle, a lot of times people ask me questions about, I would like to go vegetarian, but I don't have any recipes. Mm. Or I don't know what to change over. Believe it or not, other than a few items that we usually eat or people eat, okay. that's not necessarily real good for them, mm -hmm. but... The Lord is awesome because he's actually given me ideas of stuff that we can replace out, like mm -hmm. the scallions, mm -hmm. like the waffles, mm -hmm. like the blueberry sauce, like the sausages from scratch. So you can really do it if you really want to do it, okay? You okay. can do it if you want to do it. God has and really all. blessed you having the art of cooking. Uh, that is a talent of, you know, we mentioned in the uh, first hour live that uh, Southern Lois mentions that cooking is worth 10 talents, mm. 10, mm. all right? There's actually a book called 10 Talents, all right? And so therefore you have that uh, gift and I'm glad uh, you are my bride. It is, it is yes, a it blessing is. from it's the Lord. It's a gift. I'm gonna put the dried cherries in and they're gonna be coated up with the flour mm -hmm. as well. What and is you know in I'm gonna here, need? Honey? That's gonna be flour I'm gonna need because I'm gonna add, you see, do you have the, um, the, um, the board for me to actually make this what, a, a cutting, board? cutting board? Yeah, I can use a cutting board. I okay. think I have what, one under here. I'm not sure. Clear any, or? It could be clear. It can be okay. any. Okay, so let me, let me get that. I'll, I'll be right back, okay? Okay. All the potatoes are carrying on over there. They are looking good. They're smelling good. There the you steam go. is coming down and doing that? its thing. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. Okay, so now at this point, what I'm going to do, if you would, Curtis, I would like for you to take. This is the maple syrup. Okay. And this is the soy. Soy milk. Put those together for me. Let me get a okay. spoon. Let's put them together for me. I'm going to put that into this batter. Make a batter out of it. Oh, okay. Okay. And like I said, be decorative. You can do apricots around the holiday time. I do a combination of the cherries. You can do all kind of things to make this a real good item. All right, and then just oh. stir it around. It's gonna make it. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> it looked like it wasn't. Yeah, it, it, it looked it like was it close. wasn't. I know. I know. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna very slowly begin to so add now this. I'm gonna add this. Uh, let me let me do it. Oh, you wanna do it? Yeah. Could you, so you trust me on this one, huh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we're gonna slowly add in because we're gonna make a dough. Oh, so you, you need a rolling pin? No. Oh. Uh, I just got my pan over there. No, we don't need a rolling pin. How about that? You gonna use your fingers or something? Yeah, I'm gonna have to get. Oh. I'm gonna have to get my hands dirty on this. Okay. One. Okay. So we're stirring it up. Look at this. It's actually making a batter. And then I said before, if you don't have enough, let's say for instance, now you know because we're doing plant-based cooking, a lot of times things don't respond the exact same way they do when you have your other things you're buying at the mm -hmm. store or making from scratch. So once you learn. The, the method of how to work with it, like the unbleached flour mm -hmm. and like the whole wheat flour. Okay. Then you can say, okay, you know, I can improvise that and I can change it up. Because the bottom line is that we want to eat healthy. We want to eat healthy. We want to keep from getting those major killer diseases that come from eating the improper foods. And the main thing is without sacrificing taste. That is the bottom line. See, it can be healthy, but if it's nasty, uh, nobody's going to buy into it. It has to be healthy without sacrificing taste. And uh, you're not in the kitchen for half a, half a day. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Okay. It doesn't cost a lot. Now, I'm seeing, I'm going to add a little bit more flour to this. Okay. Because I want this dough to be a little bit thin, thicker. Mm-hmm. Just put it in there. All right. 
Now, we're going to have one more recipe after this, right? It's going to be kind of quick and fast? Yes, it's going to be quick and fast. Okay, good. So see how it's coming together? Oh, yes, I okay. see now. See how it's coming together. Remember mm. now, when you're changing out your flowers, you're using things different, it doesn't mean you're not going to get exactly what you want, but you've got to work with it. And so mm. you can see that's doing really well. Now, I'm going to just take a little bit of spray on my hands. So this is where it gets sticky. This is where it gets sticky. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to grab it up. Do you have enough flour? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Now, what you can do is I want a little bit of flour on this on mat. On the board? Yes. A little bit more than that. How about that? That's enough. Okay, give me a little bit more in here. Oh. I can see I want to be a little bit more, a little thicker. Okay. A little bit thicker. Okay, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough, okay. that's enough. Okay. All right. Remember, play around with it. It's not a problem. Don't let yourself get stressed out. Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to get it a certain texture. You want to be able to hold it, and that's what we're doing now. Now that I've got it, mm -hmm. I'm going to turn it into a ball. Oh, okay. And I actually have a round tray right there, Curtis, ready well, to go. Okay. Now, let's sit, no, sit over there, babe. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to knead it a little bit. I say five times. Oh, you say, okay. why five? I don't know. It just seemed like five worked for me. Mm-hmm. Okay. And this is, look at that. Okay. Oh, so, now, you no move, rolling pin. No rolling pin. Move that out the way, babe. Can you switch this Bring over? Bring that forward. And if you will, a little bit of spray on that. On the pan? This is gonna, yeah, just a little bit on spray. Hold your pan out like that and spray it. Okay. We done made a circle. And with this in mind, lay it, lay it down. <laughs> okay. Okay. All we're going to do is lay it down and we're going to pat it into a circle. Mm-hmm. Okay. And this will make 12 of these. I know you said, no, it's not. Yes, it will. It's going to make 12. And I got my knife. Do I have my knife? And we're going to turn. Why are you turning the potatoes off for me, honey, while that's going on? Just turn that off. Okay. Because I smell them and they're smelling good. It's off. I'll okay. take this. You, you put that away. Okay. All right. And then we just, now when you're cutting this, you're not going to take it all the way down to the end. All right. You're just actually making the, just dents in it so it can break at the very end like it needs to. I know you said there's no way she's going to get 12 out of these. And yes, I am. Remember, we got baking powder in, baking powder in this as well. And so we are making, not all the way through. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. Now this goes in the oven at oven. 400 degrees okay. for 15 minutes. All right. Okay. Looks good, baby. And they will see this at the end of the program as well. Mm -hmm. Scones. Okay. So you want me to put this in the oven in the and then oven, we get the next recipe? Degrees, the yeah. last one. All right. Why don't you go ahead and read the next recipe and I then I'll get the ingredients uh, up here as well on the table. Okay? Sounds good. All right. Let's go All ahead right. and do that. All right. Oh, a strawberry smoothie. It calls for one cup of tofu soft, one half cup of orange juice, one cup of frozen strawberries, and one teaspoon of vanilla, vanilla flavoring. All right, here we go. Okay. Okay, dokie. Right. I'll get that off of my hands there where I was fixing that up. This is another real good uh, smoothie, yes. which is another thing that sometimes people do also. This is also another option for us, and that is. Okay. All right, you're going to plug that in? On the, you already got it plugged in? It's ready it's to already go, baby. working? Yep. That sounds good. That sounds good. All righty. It is ready to go. All, All right, right, so we're going to put in our first thing, which is that Finish tofu. Finishing up here. This we got, baby. The, Tofu. All right, tofu coming in. Now and this is the soft, soft tofu. Soft. All right, and soft. So you don't need the water part of it. All We're right. just going to get out there. Oh, just uh, tofu. Yeah, okay. that's the tofu because we got orange juice and everything else that's going in this. All right. All right. Okay. Then we're going to pour the orange juice in there with that. Orange juice is next. We're going to put the frozen strawberries in with that. Okay, going in. In this frozen bucket. Okay. 
I stepped back. Yeah, I stepped back too. I stepped back. One. Okay. The, then you uh, go ahead and put that. All right. All right. Put the lid on and let's let, let it see what happens. Let her rip. Let her rip. To the two. Tim the two man. Oh, I put it on high. Oh my goodness. Stop it. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and spin turn that one more time. One more time. Yes, bachelor. Okay, you want to open it up? Yes. Okay. You spin it? Oh. No, 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 no. Not no, me. not right now, but. No. <laughs> okay, yeah, just, just, that just not, testing, okay. That would not be a good idea. All right, put it on there. Okay. There we go. There we go. That's it. All right. Okay, let's see, okay. let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, do you want to get those? Uh, oh, yes, okay. Mm, honey hush. Mm. Okay, that was good. Yeah. Okay. I, I can okay. tell that was good. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. All right. One and more time. Are we, we're, no, no. Oh, that's She's it. She's ready. All right. She's All right. ready. For, folks, okay. you want to get that, uh, you want to get your pen and paper ready to go because I will give you our contact information is coming up. And Stop. There you go. So after we do this, we'll go with our contact information and that will work. Excellent. There you go. Mm. I can see this is going to be good right here, baby. Yes. Okay. All right. Very good. So with that in mind, you know what? We could have got a little bit more, but that's just let, let it. Let oh, it, let I can pour a little bit more, but baby. Go ahead, put a little bit more Yeah, in. just a little bit more. A little bit, because this All strawberry right. wants to sit in there. There you go. A little bit more. Boom. And on this one, too. Okay. All right, get that uh, the pen and paper in. And as we're wrapping up, I'll give you the contact information as well. So this is great, honey. And uh, once I read that, we'll bring all the dishes out on the table, okay? So anyway, we have uh, just a few minutes left. So at this time, I'll read you our contact information, Abundant Living Center. That's Pure Box 28. 73 Huntsville, Alabama 35804. My cell, personal cell, is 256 683 5198. That's 256 683 5198. Or you can order our products online at Abundant Living center.net that's abundant living center.net or you can email us at educate at abundant living center.net educate at abundant living center.net all right so that's a good one yes um, that's a good one and i uh, can call that number and order uh any of the dvds uh the healthy heart conference that we have left available at a special price of uh 26.95 and close three dollars shipping and handling or my wife's cookbook vegetarian cooking made easy or global vegetarian cooking made easy as well order online or just simply call myself we can process the order as well so now we have the breakfast and we can go around and share to people what we did today yes, honey we did we did oat waffles yes with the sesame seeds mm, then we did golden brown blueberry sauce for the to topping go over top of the waffles okay right. very good then we made our own breakfast patties oh look at that honey to go along i mean a oh, good breakfast item. yes yes then we did Skillet potatoes, but with this time a white potato and a sweet potato combination. Both together. Together. On the same dish. Together in the same this dish. This is what I'm talking All about. Right. All right. And then we did cherry scones. Scones. And cherry maple scones. And maple scones. That's what I'm saying. That's okay. what I'm saying. And got a little shake there going. What's and the, then uh, we got a smoothie. Yeah. And a smoothie with a uh, Soy milk and tofu and mm. also strawberries and orange So, juice. So we got a few uh, uh, seconds left and uh, so maybe you can sample not everything, but uh, what, what, oh, you have some strawberry. I, I, yeah, I know, you, I know. But, what, what but, about the scone, baby? Okay, let's, let's. Can, can you hook let, a brother up? Let's, let's, let's do the scone. Yes, okay, now, just get just that, a little 
bit, yeah. Okay, I got one eye on the clock and one eye on the scone and, um, mm. Okay, that went down real good, real good. Mm. You wanna get one? Well, maybe, maybe I should try a piece of it also mm. as well. Let me take a piece, because you, yeah, you, you got a, just a few seconds left. a lot there, of noise there. Time to close there. Okay. Mm. Um, I heard that because I'm good. you got to say, okay. mm, uh -huh. John 10, 10. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, I come, mm -hmm. that they might have life and have, have it, it more, more abundantly. abundantly. See you next time.